reasons I'm here. This school is doing really well on tougher tests. You students are the reason why. You're competing. That competition is not just locally, it's worldwide. Number three, these math and science opportunities through Project Lead the Way. Your district is leading the way. And this school district is kind of leading the state in a number of these kind of programs. We're number one at the high school level in computer science types of programs like this, but the, we're, we're trying to get that down in the elementary school. So right at the beginning of years, we're just trying to learn a little bit about what you're doing, and we're here to listen to your teachers and see you guys. There's about 34 elementary schools that are beginning this program this year, and we're trying to turn that into 350. Can you guys tell us, what are we doing this for? Why study robots even? What do you think, Wayne? We're studying and making robots to solve real-world problems. Okay, so what kind of real-world problems do you think are out there that robots would actually solve? Logan, what do you think? Like moving toxic waste. Okay, you exactly. Kind of in a simulated um, natural disaster zone well, that, where they'll have to actually pick up the hazardous waste and move it out of the zone. That's just a real problem we need help on. For example, in 2011, after we had the Joplin tornado, you had so many things knocked over and so much waste there that it became a real issue about whether folks could go in. You know, you had potential asbestos, you had all sorts of chemicals, and we had to do all kinds of testing of the air and everything else before you could repair the area. And then you had to send in things like, it's almost like you were going to Mars sometimes because you didn't want to send people in to work if you couldn't guarantee that they would be safe and you had all these volunteers wanting to help, so you had to... So we used some stuff like this with to, yeah, to yeah. test and then to remove stuff that was was challenging and get it into a place it could control. It's, it's really So it's actually real world. We were yeah. just talking about that. What were some of the other purposes, do you think, of robots? Because that was what we just, you looked at some of the robots before. What was one of the other purposes of robots? Like help people out. Like if they're not, like if they're maybe like old or like elderly and they can't really do stuff by themselves, maybe a robot would like. There's a real world problem right there. What else? For uh, like moving things that are like too heavy. I hope you have a really good year with this. It's really important. A lot of folks are watching. This district has been extremely engaged in, in trying to get math and science uh, all over the place. There's an old saying that governors go where good things are happening. And quite frankly, it's true. That's why I'm here. Because uh, there's a lot of good things going on in the Ritter School District. Really simply, Project Lead the Way is designed to give more practical, hands-on science, and it's done at a lot of high schools across the state. In fact, as far as computer science, Project Lead the Way, we're number one in the country, more types of programs. But that's not good enough for us. What we're trying to do is push that curriculum down into the elementary schools, and that's why we're here today. You guys have started doing that, not only at this elementary schools, but at others, once again, challenging folks. That is extremely important. The jobs of the future are about technology, science of flight, robotics, energy, light and sound. All of that is really important. So if there's one lesson I hope you learned today is to embrace the science and technology and have fun with it. And also for each of you, the sky's the limit. But thank you for having me here, and thank you to everybody here for leading the way on Project Lead. Thank you. See you.